Hey y'all, um, I had to come back on here today, tonight, because it is 9-11, um, and I wanted to just let you know that I did contact Heartful Diamonds. I told them that I was very impressed with their stuff that I got, you know, the canvas and everything, but then I became very disappointed when I was doing a bead check with their piece of paper, and I told them that I was missing number 36, the DMC number is 3835, and I should have 220 of them. And I told y'all at the beginning of yesterday's video that it's a really bad day. It's a really hard day. And it just really sucked big time. Well, <laughs> they were nice. They were really nice. They did not tell me I was stupid. <laughs> they didn't tell me, hey, you can't read. But I felt stupid when I read their nice, very sweet email. They got back to me within four hours of my email. And they told me that this is a misprint. There are 35 colors. So I looked. Guess what? <laughs> Let's see if it'll come out. 35 colors. There is no 36. I guess if I had checked with the canvas list, I may have saved myself an email. But they were very nice about it. They were very pleasant. So, yay, now in my little book that I have, where I keep up with all of my diamond paintings, I gave them, as far as quality, <laughs> a great plus. So, couldn't give them an excellent because of the anxiety that I had to feel for a little while to um, deal with. Feel. <sighs> Sorry, guys. It's late. It's been two really long days. I want to make sure that I got... Yep. I wanted to make sure that I got the uh, the date that I received it in here. And I got more mail. Um, I got this one. Very flat. It's a little worrisome. I did cut it, but I have not looked in it. I went ahead and cut the top off. So I'm going to be fighting with it. So let's see. Ten colors, okay. It's a partial. All right. Oh, it's the fluffy cats. Yes, okay. It's one of those fluffy cat pictures. Oh. I don't iron my canvases to flatten them out, do y'all? I don't. I, luckily, I have a uh, heat press. And my heat press, oh, that's a little, little, you know, I can leave it off and I can put these on there, smash it down, leave them for about a day. They're good. Okay, I don't know how much detail I'm going to get on that little kitten. Um, this is a black and white fluffy cat. Uh, cat. 
and I got it from Walmart.com. Okay, right there. As a little white kitten, and well, you know, I have lots of cats, and so I love cat pictures. <gasps> love cat pictures. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, I, um, I like this one. It almost reminds me of that video of the panda bear. It's a mama panda bear, I guess. And I got sneeze. Oh, okay. And the mom panda bear sitting there and she's going about her business eating some bamboo. And um, all of a sudden she jumps because of a noise behind her and it's her baby. And it's like, when you forget that you have children. <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. I don't have children. I don't want children. Uh... All right, they are all here. I have ten colors. So, that one will be easy peasy to do. That one might actually go to my students. Right now, they are loving diamond paintings, folks. They are loving it. I've gotten them hooked. I got them hooked. Yay me. <laughs> I bet 01 is 310. There is no DMC code. No surprise there. It's a 20 by 20. Alright, and I ordered it on the 28th. And I got it today. Okay. So, I'm going to put this back in the bag. We'll see how much detail it has after it gets done. Um, then I also got a box. Amazon. <laughs> and, um... I always forget to put them back in this. Um, I got home and I had Amazon box on the porch and I went to the mailbox and I had Walmart in the mailbox. So I've been waiting to open it. I know what it is. I just haven't opened it to look at it. Okay, come on. Yeah. It got stuck. There we go. Now. Yeah, I'll take that one to school and I will get it set up for the kids to do. When one of them finishes, I think one... I've got them working in twos, so like one is over here working on this corner, and one's over here working on this corner. Kind of meet in the middle and work up. It's working for them. Okay. I did get the DMC Color Chart Book, second edition. I got this because back last year, I ordered um I ordered from AliExpress. I will never order from AliExpress again. I just had too many troubles. I there were way too many issues. Um I think my biggest pet peeve was that I got this beautiful picture of a leopard. And it's missing one whole set of drills. 
That's kind of a problem, folks. It's really kind of a problem. So, I have not, I mean, not that I would right now, because it's a square. And I know some people like square drill kits. I don't. It drives me insane. It just absolutely drives me insane. And I guess because they have to be laid down just perfectly. And it's slower. To me, it's slower. I think I just need practice. So, I got this book so that I can look up that number. Because what happened was, kind of reminds me of my kids, you know, what happened was, um, since I didn't have the color, and I tried to file a complaint with AliExpress, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. Um, <laughs> they never responded. Um, I went and found um, Etsy that I could order just the square beads of certain colors. Well, I got some, and I ordered more than one pack because I need a lot of them for this picture of this leopard. And it seems like one bag is just a slightly different shade than another bag, but they're supposed to be the same number. So I was kind of like, well, let me just stop here, and I will try to figure out the color somehow. Well, now that I have this book, I can figure out what the real color is supposed to be. So, yay. Okay. So with that being said, now this obviously has two in it. I know. I ordered a two-pack. And that's probably it. So let me go over here in my book. Yeah. I bet this is the two dogs. I hate oh, these things. I'm always worried about cutting something that's not supposed to be cut. Like the canvas. That would not be good, right? Yes, yeah, in a box. Why this? Yes, it is. Okay. So, I got Rainbow Dogs. They are partials. And it was a pack of two. And I got them from Amazon. They're supposed to both be 30 by 40 and for the both of them, I paid $13.99. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I named them just to give them names because um, the seller didn't name them. And I felt like they needed names. These will probably also go to my kids to do because they are partials. This one, I named Winston. Isn't he cute? He looks like a little weenie dog. And I call these like rainbow animals because they have all the colors. All the colors. There are supposed to be 21 colors. Alright, 21 colors here. So if that's Winston, this is Buster. So we're going to move Buster out of the way. And I'm going to move my book out of the way. Don't you love the sound of the plastic? <laughs> so. Okay. 21 is loose, but at least I have it. And the rest is a daisy chain. 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 21. Okay. So I can assume that they are all here. Oh, I hope they're all here. I always get just kind of nervous because of the AliExpress experience. I think it's like, really, honestly, very few companies that don't scare me as far as missing stuff. Man, that um, Heartful Diamonds was great. You know, even though it was a misunderstanding on my part. I appreciate them not being ugly to me and say, go read. Because <laughs> it, it was a day yesterday. Okay. So, this is Winston. He's so cute. Oh. My students will be able to see these much better than I will. But they look pretty clear. They really do. They look really clear. And I guess what I'm really worried about is the darker color. But it looks pretty clear. So I think this one is good to go. I kind of like it. So, all right. I'm just going to put that in the back. Mm -hmm. These bags just seem to shrink after you take it, everything out of it. So, all right. There we go. And I think part of the problem is since this is a partial right here on the end, the uh, plastic is loose. It's not sticking to the canvas. So it's kind of getting a little hung up. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Wally. <laughs> Wally's checking stuff out over there. So, I don't know what she's looking at. Okay, so this one I named Buster. Yeah. Oh, now see, this one is, is it that one? Hello. I need to check. Yes, it does have the DMC number on the canvas. You know, that's kind of a big thing for me. Oh, I got to straighten out my legs. Sorry, guys. Ah, there we go. Um, I like the DMC number on the canvas. So here is the second one of this pack of two. And I call him Buster. And he cute. He's another rainbow critter. And he has 16 colors. Yeah, we're, we're giving up on these here. I'm going to... Wally, go play. There we go. Anything to entertain her, I guess. Oh, another pink drill pin and wax and tray. Which I don't mind because my kids use them. I'm really thinking, who did I see? Um, Hickety Pickety, maybe? Um, oh, I can't remember. But I saw a YouTube video where someone took a baking clay, wrapped it around one of the drill pins, and made it thicker and baked it, and it worked. 
Okay, so I got another daisy chain. Okay. You know, nothing, nothing special. It's very plain. Plain Jane. PJ. Doesn't have PJ on it, but it sure is. I've really gotten hooked on these rhinestone with special beads, and I really like those. That's why I guess I've got so many coming. I found them and ran with it. Just ordered a whole bunch. I think I have between 65 and 70 kits coming to my house between now and April 2nd. <laughs> but that's good. See, you know how when it's partial, it just kind of like, just the plastic just does not stick to the canvas. That's the problem with the other Um, yeah. See, that's good because I can, I can kind of play it off like, oh, I bought these at different times. I didn't realize, you know, you know. Okay, so I can write down that I got these today. So let's go with 3, 5, 19. So, yeah, when I write these down, it's like I, get, I name them. I say who I bought it from. Amazon, I put by Bytra because that's the second hand store place, the second seller through Amazon that I bought from. The day I ordered, the size, when I received it, the drill type. This drill type is round partial. How much it costs, the quality. When I set it up to be done, I'll write down the quality. Because I'll be able to tell a little bit better when I empty out the drills into a little container like... <gasps> Do I have a lot of odd shapes? Oh, now this makes me happy. I never look at who the seller is on Amazon. I don't know why. I probably should. And I guess if I ever have a bad experience with a seller on Amazon, then I'll pay more close attention. But I obviously ordered another one from Heartful Diamonds. And it is one of those rhinestone with special beads. I'm going to throw this box on the floor. Let's see how fast the cat gets into it. So, yeah, like I said, you know, I found them and I've run with it. I have not done one yet. I have to show you how far I've gotten on my, um, on my skull with flowers, though. Oh, this one has. Okay. I'm not hating this. This is good. I am. <laughs> I'm going to check to see. Let's see. Did they have. Oh. Da, 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 exclusive. Okay. Turn me over for your picture guide. That's what it says. See, right there. If I can get this to, come on, zoom in. It says, turn me over for your picture guide. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, that's a lovely picture guide. <sighs> Bless their hearts. As we say down here. Bless their hearts. So this one has 11 beads. Rhinestones, drill, some gems, whatever you want to call it. Oh, and look, I got a Starbomb roller. 
I know somebody who will like playing with this. Lolly. Well, I got her attention now. She's looking at the box. She is not interested in me and my new little styrofoam roller. I like this. <laughs> but isn't this pretty? Look. It's big. It's a really good size. So, while I'm writing this down, I'll tell you about it. Obviously, I got it from Heartful Diamonds through Amazon. And <coughs> yep, I, I ordered it on the 28th. It is a 40 by 50 rhinestones and special gems partial. And I paid fourteen dollars. That ain't bad. I accidentally wrote a four instead of a five. I guess because I was thinking about um yesterday. All right. So, well, this one's going to be fun, and it's so pretty. Let's check out the gems. Let's let's see. Who was it? Um, I was watching one today on I think it was Stitcherista, and she had um she had ordered the adhesive like a duct tape roll, but it was the adhesive that you lay on on a canvas. To make it a diamond painting. <laughs> and um, she showed that she takes it and she just gets rid of the sticky adhesive part and uses the cover in strips on her paintings. Now, I wonder, okay. I'm touching the canvas right next to where the beads are going to be laid down. There's no over uh, hang of the adhesive on the canvas. That's nice. That is very nice. Good job, Heartful Diamonds. So let's look at some of these rhinestones and see what they look like. Now, this is interesting. You know, um, yesterday when I opened up the stained glass Tinkerbell from Heartful Diamonds, I got the big white tray. Well, the white tray with the little spigot thing. I got the multi-placer. Um, this time I got a square tray. I've never had a square tray. I got the metal um, tweezers. No multiplacer, but that's okay. And I got this big, huge, huge square of wax. So, I guess whatever they have on hand is what they use. Okay, so... Really? Where'd it go? I don't know why I said it over there. Because I kind of need it over here. Um, there is no chart on this side. But the chart is over here. So. Let's see. Okay, I like this. I have purple rhinestones. I have lots of the purple. Look at that. Oh, yes. I love purple. Purple is my favorite color. And there's yellow and yellow. 
So it's two packs of the white, two packs, um, two packs of the purple, two packs of the yellow. Then I got these teardrop orange beads. That's number three. Okay, so that's all right. That goes on the wings. Oh, these are pretty little rounds. Then I got reddish rhinestones. And another color of yellow that look bigger. They're bigger. Those are bigger. Then there's this pinkish color. That is kind of an orangish yellow. Oh, there is a red, red, red. My friend Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. If you get to see this. Um, she likes red. Her favorite color is red. Um, then there's green. And there is a pretty little teal color. See the red? Those are pretty. Okay. So, I have all of my beads. I'm happy, happy about that. Happy, 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 happy. <laughs> um, that's good. Always glad to see all of the beads. I have my bag over here. Um, over to the side on my bed and I am working on uh, just these little kits right here I'm just throwing in the bag because I actually have a little metal container that I keep all of my drill pins in all the basic drill pins in I have um, a container that I keep all of my wax in. Granted, they're separate. Now, I've seen some people who put it all together in like a, a jar. They take it off of the little wrappers and put it in a jar. Does that really work? I have an old Altoids container. I wonder if that would work. May try it. I mean, actually, it's in the Altoids container. It's just still, it's all in those little um, things. They've got the little clear plastic over them. So, yeah, um, that was my unboxing for today. wonder if I'll get anything tomorrow. <laughs> Never know. Um... I still have Diamond Art Club coming. It's supposed to be here between tomorrow and Friday. Diamond Shop is supposed to be here Thursday. So, we'll see. Oh, before we go, have y'all seen these? Have you seen these? These are adorable. I got two of these at Michael's. And they're magnets, see? They're, they're diamond painting magnets. Nice stinker. Squirmy just came in the room. And I know my nephews are young, but I've seen some kids who are young working on diamond paintings. So just to see if I could get them interested, I picked up two of these. Because they're small little projects. Just to see if my nephews would sit still long enough to do it. I think I'm going to take it over there um, on one of the days we're out for spring break. And just see if they're interested. Why not? Oh, it's getting late. Um, but before... Before we leave out, let me show you Leave the magnets. I am 
just a hair, probably about two-thirds, maybe a little more than two-thirds, maybe three-fourths of the way done with the skull and roses. I just have to do that top section. So, really excited about that. Um, you can see it better. I'll show you a little bit better. Turn this on. Hey, come on. Oh, kind of have to plug it up, Donna. Um, for those of you who have subscribed to my channel, I appreciate it. I, you know, I really do appreciate it. You know, if you want to jump on here and listen to me talk and watch me unpack and diamond paint and whatnot. Hey, awesome. Um, just stop in and say hi sometime, you know, in the comments. Um, I, I enjoy it. I do this just for fun. But, yeah, you see? Yeah, you can really see it when I put the uh, light pad on it. <laughs> I'm probably three-fourths of the way done. And hopefully, ooh, that's a big change, isn't it? Hopefully, before the end of the week, I will be finished. My next project is probably going to be that little tiny elephant that I unpacked yesterday. Because I really want to do a rhinestone that um, that has special beads. Never done a special bead. Never done a rhinestone one. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm still waiting. Does anybody know what an AB bead is? An AB drill? Inquiring minds want to know. I was told that Diamond Dots puts at least one, maybe two, in each of their um, kits. Is it just that they're extra shiny? I've seen some that are extra shiny. But I still don't know why they're called AB beads, drills, whatever. So somebody could tell me. I would love to know. I really would. I would love to know. So, yeah. Again, I would like to learn something. And let me say this. I was watching Miss Coffee's um, live today. Hi, Miss Coffee. My kids are so into diamond painting. They asked me because they were doing a little bit of seat work today. Um, so they asked me, well, can, can we watch it? I was like, I don't know about that. I know you're in high school, but sometimes the language. And I'm sorry, I'm with Miss Coffee. Don't go telling nobody what they should and should not say and what they should and should not do on their videos. And I hope you're not offended by that. I really do. I hope you're not. But it's just, she's so right. You know, she does that for her. But I just told my kids, I said, mm, sometimes there's a little language. And I know you're in high school. I know you use that language. But you won't ever, ever be able to say that you saw something in my room that used any type of language that is not G-rated for your great-great-great-great-grandmother. And they were like, well, you can put it on mute. So I asked them, I said, why? Then you just watching her do this. Why? Because we want to see it. So I had her up on my big thing 
kids were working. Like I said, you know, it's been a tough, tough couple of days. Tomorrow's going to be tough because uh, it's their friend's funeral. Probably won't even have many of them there, quite honestly. I'll be interested to see how many kids are there. But So I just decided that maybe they needed something that was not stressing and straining for them. So I gave them a critical thinking type puzzle called a cryptogram to learn some new information about the topic we're covering. And I put Miss Coffee up on the big board so that they could see it. What is up with that? My hand. I guess it's the light. Um and I put it on mute. I had it on beside me. The volume was extremely low. And um, I typed in a question and she answered it. I was so happy she answered my question. Um, I asked her about a, how do you do a live. I want to know how to do a live. Just like I want to know what AB beads are. <laughs> I just, I like to know. I like to learn new things. It's the teacher in me, I guess. And she told me, and I looked, and I was like, oh, okay. So I'm going to try it. I don't know. I'm going to try it sometime either on a weekend. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm either going to try it on a weekend, or I'm going to try it during spring break. But I'm excited to try it. I really am. I'm excited to try it and we'll see how it works and if I can do it. Um, I'll have to see if I can get a setup. I love how people have it like almost like the camera is like attached to the head or something or it's like looking over their shoulder. I don't have that type of setup. Um. I, I, I don't know. I've got to figure something out so that I can do a live and all you see is like whatever I'm working on and my hands. <laughs> so, um, while he's looking at me like I'm crazy. Hi, Wawa. I got to show you this. Okay, don't look at my messy room. Don't look at my messy room, but I'm going to show you. So, ooh, <laughs> hi, really close. All right, I'm going to turn you around so you can see Wally. Hey, Wally. Say hi. Yeah, she looks so interested, doesn't she? Bless her heart. Yeah, you see that basket sitting beside the two boxes? That's diamond paintings that are not done. So I have a lot to do. <laughs> now I'm going to put you back up here. Okay. So, yes, I have plenty to do. I just keep buying more. Um, oh, well. It is what it is, right? So, I'm about to go to bed because it is 9.55. And I'm tired. And... <sighs> it's going to be... See, I say I'm tired and there you go. Um, it's going to be an interesting day tomorrow. And I'm just going to try to get through it. And then I'm going to go to work and teach my Zumba class after... I go to work and teach my children, and so yay, long day, and then maybe I'll get to come home and do some diamond painting, so, <laughs> um, thank you for watching, thank you, thank you, I appreciate it, um, if I get more in tomorrow, I'll be out tomorrow. And if I don't see you tomorrow, then I guess I will see you Thursday. 
So, y'all have a wonderful night. Um, I hope you learned something. If you didn't learn something, how about teach me something? Um, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you know what an ABB is. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.